A pull quote can be a really great way to break up long passages of text. We're using lorem ipsum text here, but if you wanted to, you could put in a pull quote in the middle of a passage that might be someone's a quotation from someone specific. Here's how you do it, and it's really quite simple. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a sentence from the passage, and I'm just going to cut it from the text. So I'm going to just do a control X. Now each passage of lorem ipsum is going to look slightly different than the others, so don't worry if yours looks a little bit different. Pick a sentence with a few words and you can do the same thing. I'm going to go onto my pasteboard and I'm going to just create a text frame and I'm going to paste the text that I just created. And what I want to do is I want to format this a little bit differently, so I'm going to go up over here. I'm going to convert this to about 18 points and see how that looks. Maybe I'll go a little bit bigger. And what I can do here is I can go to the drop down menu and I can select italics. Now not every font is going to have italics and every other option, but you can force it by going over here. So if you don't have italics, you can choose the false italics and you can set a degree here and just kind of um, increase the degrees here until you like the actual italics. So now what I have want to do is I want to take this text and I want to center it. I'm going to take this bounding box and I'm going to just do that right there. And now I'm ready to place it in front of my text. I'm placing it right about where it would have been. Now in this particular case you can see that the text is right over top. What I want to do is with the box selected, I want to go over here to Windows. I want to select the Text Wrap option. And when I click on Text Wrap, I'm going to get the Text Wrap dialog box, which you will use again. So click, drag, and drop it over here, and then click on the Fly Out. Now here what you want to do is you have a number of different options. No text wrap is your default. Here's an option here, wrap around the bounding box. So in this particular case you can see that the text wraps around. There's not a whole lot of text here, so that's not an option that I want to do. This one here does a, something similar around the object shape, in this case it'll do the same thing. And then this one here tells it to jump the object. That's what I want to use, so I'm going to click on jump the object. And I can see here that it really tucks right up to the text, so sometimes you have to play around. Right over here, this area is locked, and so whatever changes it's going to do to all sides. And that's what I want to do. I just want to bump this up a bit. You'll notice that the text on the left, as I do this, pushes away from the text around it. And I can play around with the placement. Maybe I just want to bump it down a bit like that. Maybe I want to bump it up a little bit further. And you can see that it kind of pushes away from the text all around it. It's a nice, easy way to create a little bit of space that doesn't crowd around your objects. When I created the pull text, I created an error. Because this is lorem ipsum, it's really easy. All I need to do is go in and delete a little bit of text, and I can keep doing that until I get rid of that error message. But if this, if, but if this was a real body copy, you'd have to play around with the placement of your document, and you'd have to maybe do some adjustments with the type, um, and maybe make some changes with your layout to make it all work.